By the time most kids turn 18, there will be roughly 70,000 posts about them on the internet. That has Democrats wanting to pass a new law that will give adults the power to have all data collected about them as a kid deleted. Our Washington correspondent Raquel Martin tells us how the law would work. In the new digital age where every click is up for sale. From birth on, they want to know what you did when you were a kid so they can predict what you will do when you're an adult. Consumer watchdogs like Ed Merswinski want Congress to better protect online users, especially the youngest users, from web companies looking to cash in. The threat is very real. Illinois Senator Dick Durbin is sponsoring new legislation called the Clean Slate for Kids Act. Although current law bans websites from saving data about kids unless a parent gives consent, parents frequently do, sometimes unknowingly. Durbin's bill would force internet businesses to allow users to go back and delete any information collected before they turn 13. This is an important advancement. David Simpson, a former Homeland Security cyber expert with the Federal Communications Commission, says it's time for Congress to take action. Congress has lagged on the issue of privacy. The plan would only apply to websites that target kids, like YouTube Kids or Facebook Kids Messenger. But Internet companies say that the bill would only cause confusion and encourage kids to act reckless online everywhere. It sends the wrong message to children to not necessarily think before they post and sends the wrong message to parents that they don't need to worry. Carl Zabo represents companies like Twitter, Google, and PayPal. They oppose the bill. He calls the policy a fake solution and believes parents should be more accountable. In Washington, Raquel Martin. Now, last year, the bill failed to pass, and a new version is currently stalled in Congress.